Okay. And up next, let's work on the production application. So you see, this is our development environment, which works really awesome. We can right away see the results in the browser and all that. But when we want to deploy the application, the setup needs to be different. Essentially, we're not going to have the source and then public and all that. And in order to set up that production application so we can deploy it on any provider, we need to stop the server. And also, we just need to take a peek in the package JSON. Remember, initially I showed you the scripts. So these are our commands. So start is the development server. A build one is the one that builds that production ready application. And in order to run it, I'm going to clear the terminal and the command is clear. We go with npm and then we add this run and build. npm run build. And what you'll notice once we run the command, create react app is going to be busy building our application. And once everything is done, there's going to be an extra folder, a build folder. And this is where our production ready application is going to live. Now, I don't know how long it's going to take most likely oh no, <laughs> as I was saying, it actually finished it. So notice this build folder right now. And check it out. This is our production ready application. And if you'll take a look at it, you'll notice that it has a bunch of static assets. So a bunch of HTML, CSS, JavaScript and all that. So again, we don't have any more this source one. This is only while we're developing. Once we run npm run build, this is the production ready application. And effectively, we can use this build folder with pretty much any provider that you pick. In our case, we're going to go with Netlify, but you don't have to. Again, if you use some other provider, it's going to work the same way, just like you normally would with the HTML project or vanilla JS project. And hopefully you see where I'm going with this. Once we run npm build, we can get this build folder that we can use with any of the hosting providers.